Paul Pryor, who's Product Marketing Manager for Variable Speed Drives at Schneider Electric. Paul, tell me, why does Schneider Electric have discrete ranges for machine drives and process drives? Well, um, the involvement of the, uh, of the variable speed drive has really taken over uh, quite, a, quite a long time. And um, what we're trying to understand here is that we're looking in the market and trying to understand what a machine manufacturer would need from his, from his drive and from his system and what a, if you like, an end user would want from his drive and his system. And we're tailoring our drives to incorporate the specific functions aimed at machines and aimed at processes. So that we've, we've divided our range into those two forms. So machine functions, machine requirements embedded inside the drive, process functions, process requirements embedded in the process drive. At Drives and Controls 2016, you've introduced a new machine drive. Can you talk us through a little bit about that product? Yeah, the new Ultivar 320 is a drive which basically um, has, has, again, upscaled from our existing range. And what we're doing is we're embedding things like safe talk off, logic, uh, communications inside the drive. To traditionally, all those functions would have to be done by separate blocks. And those separate blocks would take up space, take up time to wire. So we're simplifying the, the, the actual application and the machine application by putting the functions with inside the drive. Schneider Electric is embedding more intelligence and more functionality into the drives. Why is that a benefit for customers? It makes it easier for the customer to create a solution. Um, he doesn't have to think about, well, how do I do a safety function? How do I do a logic function? What blocks do I need to build in? What do I need to wire? It's all there, it's all there for him. He just has to basically use the function through one piece of software and it's all enabled for him. I guess more intelligence means more data. How is more data gonna help uh, the, the industry to do its job better and become more productive? By knowing what the machine's doing and by knowing what the items are doing within it, when I mean the items, the, the motors, the contactors, the, everything's working, they have life cycles. If you know where you are within the life cycle of a product, you can actively do preventative maintenance to know that that push button, that contactor, which has taken 50,000 life cycles on 45,000, you know you need to go and do some maintenance on it and maybe return it or, or, or replace it at some point. So by getting that information upstream, and making it available, maybe not, maybe not, doesn't have to be available as a, on the screen, but the intelligence of a PLC will be able to flag up a message and warn somebody when something's become an end of life or when something's becoming a service point or where they want to go and check it. So it can give that information, that data is, is paramount to enabling the machine to tell the user what's happening within the machine. Paul, you've got this space model here for a next generation machine drive. What sort of functionality and what sort of features are you expecting to be in, in, in those products? Yeah, so, so the, the, the ATV340 is taking a simple machine and really when you're getting to the point where it breaks over for more axes, you want to do some position control, some simple position control. You may want to do a bit more communication at higher level of speeds. The a, uh, ATV340, which is coming out later this year, will basically give you that ability to expand. Um, it doesn't just have the, the one module which you can expand to. It has three module slots inside, which gives you the ability to expand the I.O., the communications, and close the loop with an encoder feedback to give you position control as well as speed control. You've had a very couple, a busy couple of days here at Drives and Controls. What sort of things are your customers telling you about, about these drives? Yeah, they love the fact that we're, we're now implementing, for years now, the customers have been saying, we want safety embedded in our drives. We do safety, for, especially in machines, we need some safety circuits. For years they've been saying, well, why don't you put it in the drive? Why don't you put it in the drive? Well, we've done that. We've listened to the customers, we've decided that actually we can do that and it makes, it makes sense to have that embedded in the drive, so we've gone down those lines for the customers' reasons.